Hey, welcome back. This is part six of the P40B Tiger Shark for beginners. I've got the completed model right here, as you can see. In order to get the model to look like this, we're going to have to prime it. After we prime it, we're going to lay out lines so we can put our camouflage paint on, starting with the lightest color first, then going to the darker color. After we do that, we're going to let it dry. Once we spray that gloss clear coat, we're going to put some decals on. That way the decals lay nice and even and it doesn't give a silvering effect. After that, we're going to spray it a flat color, then we're going to apply the canopy. I've got a can of primer that we're going to spray on the model. Remember, just follow the directions that are on the primer. It's best to spray above 50 degrees. I have a spray booth, so I'm going to use that. If you don't have one, you may want to wait till the weather is warmer if you're in a colder climate. As you can see here, I am applying the primer coat and I'm just doing light coats of this. It is a uh, lacquer acrylic based paint so it dries rather fast. Just do several light coats until you feel the model is coated the way you want it to be coated. Here I'm spraying the bottom of this with the primer. After we're done spraying the bottom, we're going to get our tack and mask off the bottom so we can spray the bottom of this plane a light green blue color. When painting a model, you always want to start with your light colors first and then work your way up to the dark colors. That way you don't do it in reverse and you have trouble getting the light colors showing from the dark colors. So I'm going to paint the underside of this model first. It's going to be a light bluish kind of greenish color. I'm going to use some painter's tack to... I have some tack here and what I'm going to do is take each piece, roll it up, and I'm going to put it along the underside of the model right along here. That way I can put my marks down for where I want to paint the bottom side of this and that works really well for doing camouflage. just want to get this and you just want to roll it out like this, kind of like a snake. The good thing about this stuff is it's paintable and all you have to do is just peel it right off the model and you can reuse it over and over again. So as per the directions, I'm applying this tack to the bottom. That way I can spray the camouflage that light blue-green color. If you are not using an airbrush, because I do use an airbrush, I recommend masking off more than what you normally would and going around the model with maybe like a paper towel or newspaper after you do the uh, painter's tack on there. So I've got both sides of this all tacked down. We're ready to spray our paint on the bottom side of this model. Now most of this is already painted. All I'm doing is putting on one little final dab here of paint and I'll peel off this tack so you can see what it looks like. After all the tack is peeled off, we put it back on the side we just painted. That way we can paint the top of the model in the dark color, which is what I'm doing right here. I'm just putting on several coats of the uh, dark brown paint as you can see. I just go over the model with this, coat it once, let it dry, coat it again, let it dry. Again, I am using a acrylic based paint so it dries rather fast which allows me to touch it. You'll know when it dries because the model will look a little bit wet and it'll just kind of fade away. Again, just avoid touching it, that way you don't put any fingerprints on the model. And this is the second coat that we're putting on the wings. Remember, just go light with it. Don't touch the model because you don't want to leave any fingerprints on it. We're going to do the whole model in this brown color and then we're going to go over it with our light olive green color. Right here I've got all the tack laid out and I'm spraying that olive green color for the uh, camouflage and you can see I just go over this lightly until it gets darker and darker letting each coat dry. I go over several sections of this, I'll peel off the tack and I'll do the other sides. The only reason I did it that way is because I didn't have enough tack to cover the whole entire model. And this way worked fairly well for me. If you are using a can of spray paint you may want to do a different method than how I did it. Maybe like cut circles out of a paper towel put some tape on the bottom side of that and just press it down that we can paint the camouflage. I'm just going over this lightly misting it once again. Here I'm painting over some of the exhaust ports. I did that a little bit differently. What you may want to do is mask those off. I decided not to mask them off because it was just easier to go over and repaint them in the end. Here I'm painting the canopy. Remember to also mask off the inside of this because if you don't you're going to want to painting that and you're going to spend a lot of time getting all that paint off. I'm painting the sides, the top, and the other side of this, which is the right and left sides. Just lightly go over each line and coat it very well, and then peel off the tape once you're done with that, and after it dries. Here I'm just finishing painting the left wing, and I'm going to peel off all this tack from the model, and you can see what the final camouflage looks like. With all the tack peeled off, we're going to take all the tape off of the canopy right now, so you see me doing that. Once that's off, we're going to start preparing to paint the gloss coat. We are going to spray this a gloss 
clear coat color so we can put on all the decals and once that dries, I let it dry for maybe 15 minutes, we can lay the decal on and the reason for that gloss clear coat is the decal lays flat and it doesn't have a silvering effect on there like it would if it was just a flat paint. Gloss coat dry, we can now put on the decals. I've already started that. I've got my prop done right here. And all we have to do is just put the rest on. I've got some decals set for that. We're gonna need some tweezers, a knife, and a paintbrush. Just take your knife and go around the decal as you cut it out. You can also use a pair of scissors. The way these decals are laid out on this model is so much easier to just use the knife. We'll let the decal soak for about 10 seconds, then we're going to take it out and let it sit for an additional 20. I like to take the decal out, and when I do that, I just set it on a paper towel and I'll let it absorb some of the water that's around there. Take your decal set, and then just simply brush it on right where you want to apply your decal. Use a pair of tweezers, position it. When applying the decal set, you want to put it on the model, and then after the decal is laid out, you want to brush it onto the decal. Let the decal dry for 24 hours. If it does bubble up, sometimes that shrinks back and it looks normal once it's applied onto the aircraft and it's fully dried. These are the wheels right here, and you see I have that white background on there, and it definitely made the model and the decal look a lot better when I applied those just brush that on there and let these sit for 24 hours as well. Put all the other decals on in the same manner. You just put a little bit of your decal set, you know, brush the decal on there or use your knife however you need to get it on. Put some more decal set over that. Dab off the excess with it. Let those dry. Put each decal on one by one. This decal here wasn't the easiest to put on but I did manage. It takes a little bit of time. Here is our Tiger decal. That turned out really well. We did that on both sides of the model. As you can see here, I've got this set up on two pieces of paint. If I don't do that, you're going to wind up breaking your ring and bead sight. The teeth were hard to put on. I managed. I did break it a little bit, but I was able to repair it. It turned out just fine. Remember what I said about paint and that you can apply that with plastic cement. So what I've done here is scraped away the paint. We're going to glue that to the model. I've applied glue to this, and I've already scraped the paint away from both of these pieces. Got a bead of glue right there. You may want to hold that for a second until it sets. Put a piece of glue there. Push that down. Again, check the orientation of that notch. And that completes the landing gear. This is the rear landing gear. You just have to put the wheel through that hole and then glue the little round piece to the top of that. As you can see, I did paint all the insides of the wheel wells that chromate green already just after I finished painting the rest of the model. Now here's our prop, and there is going to be an orientation mark, as you can see right here at the top. We're going to line that up with the mark that's on the prop and glue that in place. I scraped all the paint off of that prop, as you see. I had trouble showing where that orientation mark was, but we were able to get this done so you can see it on the model. The last thing is our gas tank. Just put a little dab of glue on the top of that fuel tank and just put it in place. Press it down in there and it's got a spot that it's going to meet up with right down at the bottom. Just make sure it's secure and we'll let those pieces dry overnight. I'm just going to get my flat clear coat. We're going to apply that to the model. Once we do that, we can put our canopy on. It's always a good idea before applying the clear coat to let the decals dry for at least 24 hours and that's what I did here. The only thing left to do is to put on the canopy, which is right here, and we're going to use some Elmer's glue to do that. The good thing about this glue is that it dries transparent, so you're not going to leave any marks when you put it on. Just a little bit around the edges right there. Okay, you can see all that glue. Stick this on, and be careful you don't want to knock this off because that can break off. It's very fragile. Press down, wipe away any excess glue. Make sure it's in its spot. And just hold it for a little bit. Looks like we finally did it. The model is finally completed. We've got it painted and decaled. This is what it looks like 
I hope you guys enjoyed building this model with me. Here's the back end. We've got our flaps right here. Remember, if you want more updates to see from us, don't forget to subscribe to us. Also, give us some comments and some likes. Have a great day and look forward to the next video.